สวัสดีครับ and good afternoon once again today is Thursday the 1st of July 2021 and this is the English language summary of the daily press briefing here at the Center for COVID Situation Administration or CCSA as always now it's the first day of July and um, of course the first day of the launch of the Phuket Uh, sandbox the scheme as as you know hoping that that goes well so uh, before um, proceeding with the regular um, briefing that I have today I just like to share with you a couple of uh, personal stories perhaps so firstly is about the Phuket sandbox now I have some friends who are journalists actually who actually visited uh, Phuket uh, this week uh, waiting for the uh, The launching of the sandbox and as you know the Prime Minister uh, is visiting Phuket uh, today this morning as well now some of my uh, journalist friends had visited Phuket and found that a lot of things are in order a lot of the uh, doubts or comments are actually mostly found on social media but on the ground things are actually Uh, going into place and just, just, let's hope that all of this will be continued in the weeks and months ahead for Phuket as the pilot project to uh, for other uh, provinces to follow to follow suit now some of uh, my friends who went there they took uh, uh, pictures they have observed that the restaurants the people there are ready to receive uh, tourists and guests It may start with a small number first, but eventually the number will increase. And those pictures shared with me uh, gave me a sort of a sense of a sense of uh, satisfaction that uh, all of our efforts for for this province for for Phuket are being seen. And just hoping that the local people will continue to be uh, op with open arms and receive tourists in the days ahead. Now, the second personal story I just like to share uh, briefly. Uh, is that of course during this this time of COVID, sometimes when we want to meet friends, when we have appointments or arrangements for friends to come in to to Bangkok, for example, to meet, uh, to uh, engage with each other or any other activity, sometimes we have to sacrifice. Now, just a personal note that there are some friends of mine who wanted to come uh, to Bangkok to engage in certain activities, uh, meet, and all those things, but. Of course, with the uh, worry that uh, families have, uh, parents have on for their children, uh, this is something that we have to sacrifice. So, uh, issues like this have to be understood at this uh, time and age. So, so my friends uh, who wanted to come from Pak uh, Chong in 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 the provinces uh, to Bangkok. And uh, their parents were kind of uh, worried uh, that coming to Bangkok at this time might not be a suitable time, uh, but that's fine. Uh, we can uh, postpone all of these things. It's it's a sacrifice. It's a dedication that we must understand. And of course, the most important thing is to keep uh, parents and the elderly people at home to feel at ease and feel comfortable, and not be too worried about the travels of the. Other people in the family, children, uh, nieces, or nephews, uh, in coming into certain uh, congested areas, or, or to, so to say, even Bangkok these days, which is the the hot spot for COVID these days. So it's something that we really have to understand. So, for my friend going to Phuket and for my friend coming in from Pak Chong to Bangkok, uh, let's hope for the better. Hope that that the coming days and weeks will be better. And that we'll be able to visit provinces uh, without any worry, and friends from other provinces will be able to visit Bangkok without any worry. So, hoping that this will work out with all of your help. So, with that, I'd like to start off first with the vaccination progress that we have recorded for today. So, yesterday, the 30th of June, we have already administered a total of. Nine million nine hundred and twenty-seven thousand six hundred and ninety-eight doses of COVID vaccines. So that's nine point nine million doses. Out of this number, we have seven point one uh, million persons who have received their first dose, and we have two point eight million persons who have received their second dose. Now. 70, about the vaccines, 70% of those residing in Phuket have received their first dose of vaccine already, and 56% already received their second dose. So that's a quite a high number for vaccination in in Phuket. Moderna vaccine now has become the second paid alternative 
uh, vaccine after Sinopharm. And the government pharmaceutical organization in a statement said that 3.9 million doses of the Moderna vaccine would be de delivered in the fourth quarter and 1.1 million doses in the first quarter of 2022. And according to Thailand's uh, private hospitals association, Moderna two-dose vaccine package, this will be priced at around 3,400 baht or 1,700 baht uh, per shot with payments for bookings made to be collected from uh, the 1st of July. Meanwhile, the Department of Health Service support issued a warning about a fake agency allegedly to have swindled money by taking pre-orders for the Moderna vaccine that it had no intention of fulfilling. So we have to be wary, be aware of that as well. So let's look at now, now at the figures for today. New confirmed case, we have 5,000 533 cases, making the cumulative total setting at over 264,000, as you see on screen. The active cases, cases still being treated at the moment, is 52,052, 52052. You see that in the green box on top. And out of this number, we have 1,707, sorry, 1,971, 1,971 as being in critical condition. And out of this, 561 on ventilators. New recoveries, we have 3,223. You may notice that the new recoveries is a little bit lower uh, than the new confirmed uh, cases, but not very much lower as in the past few days. So we have more, increasingly more new recoveries, 3,223 new recoveries recorded. Unfortunately, we have 57 new fatalities, making the cumulative fatalities in Thailand now at 2,080. For the overall situation in terms of the provincial distribution, on screen we'll have coming up soon a slide on the provinces. So we have Bangkok uh, with the highest number at 1,960 cases, followed by Samut Prakan at 435 and then Patum Thani and other provinces, Samut Sakhon, Songkla, Shonburi, Nakhon Patum, Nontaburi, Patani, and Yala as the other provinces down the list. Now, a little bit more about the uh, Phuket uh, sandbox scheme. As we mentioned in yesterday's English language summary, uh, today, of course, is a big day for the tourism industry as the official opening of one of the most, the, our foremost travel destination. I'm talking about Phuket, of course. Opening, it, opening its doors fully to vaccinated travelers, uh, both local and international. And today, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Payut Chan Ocha, is on his one-day uh, field trip, field visit, to Phuket province to observe the launching of the scheme. So he will also share, share the opening of the Hug Thai, Hug Phuket scheme under the Hug Thai scheme at the Central Phuket Department Store and visit the Siri Nad National Park uh, before returning to Bangkok on the same day. And you, coming up, you'll have some images of the visit uh, this morning, which, of course, we hope that this is the first day uh, with all the um, encouragement that we receive from you. Of course, it will not come without any uh, flaws or hiccups or obstacles, but we hope that this is a very good uh, launch, a very good uh, in encouraging sign of the opening up of uh, the country so that the tourism industry in Thailand uh, will not uh, continue, will not be affected as much as uh, in the past year. And of course, all of us here at the CCSA would also like to extend our warmest um, congratulations to, to the local officials in Phuket and in the various different agencies which, who have cooperated, working tirelessly around the clock actually for months to make it possible to welcome back uh, foreign visitors on our soil in terms of actual uh, tourists. So we also have uh, on screen uh, some representatives of the Department of the Consular Affairs of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs there in Phuket, uh, attending meetings with relevant agencies, line agencies, 
uh, local agencies in Phuket and double checking, double checking the final details to ensure the seamless synchronization of measures to facilitate international travelers back to Phuket. If you recall, yesterday the Thai embassies around the world received over 5,000 applications for the sandbox. And yesterday, as of yesterday morning, uh, around 500 plus were approved already. And the numbers, of course, will increase on the second day, on the third day, and on the days, other days ahead. And there you have some images there. Uh, we will, of course, be updating you on the various uh, updates of uh, Phuket uh, as the days uh, go, go by. And Dr. Apisamai, in the Thai language briefing just now, also mentioned about the contingency plan uh, already, which I have uh, mentioned in the past, uh, last week, I believe, about the contingency plan, that if something goes wrong in Phuket, uh, there will be remedies. There will be remedies. Uh, if the number of uh, infections uh, rise in the three districts and over uh, six villages, for, for example, or if the hospital bed capacity in Phuket starts to rise, we will reconsider and make improvements to this pilot scheme. Yes, and uh, we have some information there, uh, courtesy of the Bangkok Post. So the digital form, I'd like to talk a little bit about the digital form for those uh, leaving uh, Bangkok. So a digital type of travel declaration form has been introduced for people traveling out of Bangkok. As the introduction of more stringent public health measures become necessary to stem COVID, this additional measure has been introduced in addition to the temporary closure of construction camps, the take home only restaurant uh, option for restaurants and other public health measures. So people looking to travel out of uh, Bangkok are requested to fill out and submit this declaration simply by scanning the QR code as shown on screen right now. And this infographic is courtesy of the NBT uh, uh, station in, in English. And everyone traveling out of Bangkok now kindly requested to scan this QR code you see on screen at checkpoints using their smartphone to fill out and submit electronic travel declaration. The digital form requires travelers to supply for personal information such as the name, identification number, uh, document number, mobile phone, uh, etc. And travelers will be asked about their purpose of travel, the necessity whether they will be returning to Bangkok after the trip or not. After submission, travelers need to show this form to officials at screening checkpoints. Information provided will only be used for the sole purpose of public health. And several road checkpoints have also been set up in Bangkok to uh, prevent the movement of uh, work, the workers' group uh, in particular from the workers' camp inside the capital. As large-scale construction sites are now subject to temporary closure of 30 days. So once again, we've uh, mentioned these checkpoints uh, can be found, for example, along Wipawadi Rangsit Road in front of the Don Meung Railway Station on Suwintawong Road under the Mahanakhon intersection overpass or Bang Natrat Road in front of the Bang Jak petrol station uh, on Badomarata Chonadi and other uh, areas. So these are just some examples of the measures that have been put in place uh, cur currently. Now I believe that the digital form will be of use because many of the uh, English language audience here have been wondering about the travels uh, going to the, the different provinces at the moment. Now, of course, please be sure to check with the uh, information of the, from the local authorities as well of the provinces that you are traveling to. And mind you that you will be returning to Bangkok as well if you are in Bangkok. And this, of course, applies to interprovincial travel as well. You have to check with the destination province which you will be going uh, to. And, of course, uh, making use of this uh, digital declaration that we have on screen for, for you. So, just uh, in closing for today, the spokesperson mentioned yesterday uh, that currently Thailand and globally we are facing a lot of emotional uh, fatigue because of the pandemic and it's been over a year now. And I'll, I'll leave you today with uh, just some tips from the World Health Organization on how to better take care of emotional well-being. 
So the WHO recommends that you take time each day to do things you enjoy and to stay connected with those around you, including keeping in touch with people that you care about in different modes, in different ways. It may be digitally on social media, by a telephone call, a simple old fashioned telephone call, thinking about what you can do for other people to help them in this time of need, as well as, re as, well as reaching out to trusted persons or health workers if you need help. So with that, I'd like to uh, close off for today. For tomorrow, uh, we'll have Director Pen Som, my colleague from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, will be back with her English language summary uh, in my place for the daily press briefing tomorrow. And meanwhile, please stay safe, please stay healthy, and have a wonderful uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday ahead. Thank you for your attention. Sorry,